Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilting Crafts with SCK. And I was blocking today. I be blocking. Uh, I be blocking. All right, you guys, let's talk about this big, giant block that is a 23 by 23 done with layer cakes. You guys, where are my big block queens? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? All right, I know I got a few out there. All right, you guys, so. This block is made with layer cakes, all right? So I will get to the video to teach you guys very soon. But right now, this is another show and tell to inspire you and to give you the bug. Now, if you are into big blocks, this block is for you. It is super easy. It is beginner friendly. You can look up this uh, block. It's not a carpenter star. It can be, but I'd rather say it's an eight-point star, just a big star. But usually the carpenter star radiates outward a little bit more than what's going on in these stars right now. But it is a lot going on in these stars because you can see in the middle we have the windmill going on. Um, you can see the eight, the eight points are there. And you want to definitely focus on three different types of fabrics when you do this block. I did three different types of fabrics and some of them, some of them I only used two colors and others I used three. So as you can see in this block right here, I used three. In this block, I used two. This one, I used three. Uh, this one, I used three. And this one over here, I used three. And that one in the corner, I used two. And this one here, two. That one there two so again this block is a 23 by 23 done with layer cakes you guys i already know i'm gonna have to put some sashing in here to break this up i haven't had my aha moment yet i'm going to search for uh a nice try to find a nice fabric outside of this line totally forgot what this line was um but it's definitely a layer cake package and I'm thinking about going with a dark purple um, as far as sashing. But there's something about this fuchsia that I like. Being that the dark purple is so popping, I'm thinking that this this kind of mauve pink, uh, pinky looking color would be nice as a sashing as well. Uh, this one is actually kind of close to that same color. So I'm thinking this color here and that color over here would be a nice sashing because like I said, the deep purples are popping so much that I don't think it needs any more deep purple. Maybe a lighter purple. You guys definitely drop me a line. Let me know what you're thinking about this. You um, can look up this uh, pattern as well. I'm going to try to put this in the link because I learned this star from Missouri Quilt and Miss Jenny. Again, and I told you guys before, she's a wonderful teacher and she makes things very uh, simple and very understanding. You'll be able to grasp it. Uh, but if you're interested in, in learning how to do this block, you can go over to her channel and you could just Google it. But I'm going to try to link it in there. Um, but I will definitely be getting to the tutorial on how to do this block because it is definitely a beginner friendly. It is super, super easy and it's a lot of fun and you can produce these blocks like super fast so they definitely consist of the um half triangle so you can also see the half triangles in there as well you will have to um you know split them put them back together um you can actually you can actually strengthen your point skills when you bring blocks together you want to focus on bringing your blocks evenly together and those uh, points meeting. And you may you may come up short on some of them, like this one right here, I came up short, as you can see. And that's okay, because when you're a beginner quilter, that's okay. Don't worry about that if you don't nail it right away, because a lot of things I don't nail right away. I, I know my errors, and as you begin to quilt, you will learn your errors as well. But don't fret about it. Just keep it moving. The people that you share your um, crafts with, that you give away or, 
you know, whether you just share them in your home, they're not even going to see this. We're the ones that see it because a lot of us shoot for the perfection. A lot of us have that OCD as far as lining up those points and um, nesting those seams. But I, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I'm not a fanatic with that because <laughs> I like to move real fast when I'm sewing. And if I make an error, I tend to just, just go with the flow. Now, um, as I um, journey more into the quilting world, I am learning to be patient. And if, if something is really bothering me, like I, I think I showed y'all the other video where there was a block that didn't belong there. And I think that person that did say, leave that block there because it does bring a lot of character to that quilt. And I went in and created another block because it was driving me crazy. But, you know, you, you will do that, you know, whenever you start your journey in the quilt world. Some things will bother you and some things won't. I don't have OCD that way. So that's why I tend to keep mine moving. But, you know, like I said, there will be projects that you will do and they will bother you. So, you know, to each his own. But um, just enjoy. Enjoy um, playing with the fabrics, the different colors. Enjoy making up stuff. I tend to make up all kinds of stuff when I'm um, quilting and, you know, things of that nature. Be happy with the mistakes. <laughs> Because they're not really mistakes. They give you a chance to get real creative in some areas. I'm going to share with you guys, too, the block that I, I wanted to take out, but I left it there. But I did make another block. And I wound up doing some old crazy freestyling stuff to, to the, the other block that I made because I did not want to cut into more fabric. So I took my my scraps and then I just piece, piece, piece until I got what I needed. <laughs> and it really came out to be a really cool block. So it, it'll be that way, you know, as you um, journey into the quilt world and your beginner quilt. So just have fun, just have fun. Enjoy the sewing, enjoy um, bringing out your own creativity and things. Change things up. Don't always go by the exact pattern or the exact fabric that they're using in a pattern. Freestyle, just have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show and tell. I will see you guys on the next video. Happy crafting. Peace.